Well, Toby, that was a, a hard-fought point in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, um, obviously disappointing not to take all three, but I think the response was what we needed this week after last weekend uh, at home. So to sort of see it through and take a point was, I think, best case scenario. And then obviously we, we wanted to take all three, but to come away with at least a point was, was what we deserved. Yeah, I've just spoken to the gaffer about the, the response after last week's game against Doncaster, just in those first five minutes, really, and getting that goal. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a strange week. We've had loads of people out ill, so it sort of felt like everything was against us. Um, things not going quite right for us, but it sort of, if anything, brought us together more as a group. Um, and Greeny just touched on it in there. I think it was a performance that showed how together we are in, in the position that we're in. Um, and we've got to fight and battle for every point that we can get. Um, like I said, disappointing not to get three, but to come out with one is, is better than none. Yeah, and probably could have added to that first goal in that first half as well and, and capitalise on it. Yeah, there was a few chances. Um, I think especially in the second half as well, in the sort of last five or ten minutes we had a, a few fair cut ones that, you know, on any other given day they can go in the back of the net, which is a shame, but you know, we've got players of, of quality that on any other given day put those in the back of the net. And how are you finding it personally? Because I think that was your first game for, for nearly a month. Yeah, it's um, obviously been a frustrating time, um, but if anything it's probably helped being out of the team to just have a bit of a reset. Obviously playing in a sort of favoured position today, so right of a three, which was nice. So when I found that out yesterday, you know, I was chopping at the bit to get playing and and hopefully my performance showed that today. And what's the what's the morale been like? Because, like I say, it has been a couple a difficult couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, there was a few sort of home truths said last weekend after uh, the Doncaster performance. But again, I think it was needed. Uh, a few things got said and addressed and it brought us together as a group because it's the first time we've spoken openly like that. Um, and like I said, with everything that went against us this week, it's felt like everyone's come together as one and, and showing the fight and spirit that we need to get us out of the position that we're in. Yeah, um, Morecambe get that equaliser today, but the heads didn't drop, did they? No, no, definitely not. I think there was a spell in the second half for about 10 minutes where we were under the pump. To be fair, I think we defended sort of six or seven corners in about four minutes. Um, and that resilience and sort of drive and togetherness came through, which is exactly what we need when we're in the position that we are. Because, like I said, we've got to fight for every point, um, every clean sheet, everything's massive from where we're at. And thankfully, like I said, we were able to come with at least one. And I may be wrong, but from what, from what I recall, Harvey probably had to make one save today, one good save, and the, the shots aren't really on target, no, are they? I think that's what the gaffer touched on. I thought we were in control, or not necessarily in control, but looked didn't look as if we were going to be conceding. Um, I know the lads scuff one that's hit the crossbar, which was probably the sort of most clear-cut chance. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think they really tested us too much. Harvey did pull off a really good save in the second half, to be fair to him, and that's what he's there for. Um, but it's just down to us, we've got to keep the back door shut and, and put the other ones away at the other end. Yeah, and you've mentioned it, um, chances galore towards the end, after the gaffer made those changes, yeah. and I, I think the one most people talk about is the gaff chance in the second half, and apparently he's devastated. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, isn't it? I think we all feel for him. Um, but if you look at what he's done for the club in the past, in terms of the moment he's given them, there'll be plenty more good rather than bad. Um, it's, one of those, it's one of those, any given day, he puts that in the back of the net. Um, it's down to him now to just put his head down, work hard again, and he'll get, no doubt, more chances this season that are going to cost us bigger moments, which I'm sure he'll take. Yeah, and, and could, could we have a penalty? Da Danny yeah, Rose going Danny down? Yeah, Danny said, to be fair, at the end that he thought it was, he did get dragged down. Um, not sure if there was another one as well, but like I said, there was a lot of chances in that last 10 minutes. It was all a bit frantic, it was a bit end-to-end. -end, um, and thought we were unfortunate not to take one of them. Of course, huge game next Saturday now against Forest Green. Yeah, probably the, the biggest game of the season. Um, I think what we've got to do as players is not take into account everything around the fixture and, and be level-headed and, and act as professionals and do the job that we need to do. You know, it's very easy to get caught up in the emotion of everything, but I think we've got to stay true to the job, stay true to what we know we can do and the result will come. And you need the kind of support that the yeah, players got today. I mean, they were unbelievable today, weren't they? Um, and they always are, but if there's sort of a rally cry, then it's for next weekend because it is, like I said, the biggest game of the season. So if we can back out the park, um, make all the noise that we need because it, it definitely takes it over to sort of over the line.